The last thing I want to do is turn this into a Debbie Downer moment. I mean, come on. We all have similar stories, but in a very cool way, things are much different. And through each of our experiences with COVID-19, we learn from it. We learn to take better care of different situations. My, my mother had it in 2021. What I'm currently going through is nothing like what she went through or my sister went through. And if we don't have open conversations about it, then what we're going to be doing is walking forward into an unknown world every single day. But we, we just keep pushing it aside, push it aside, push it aside. And I'm guilty of that. I am absolutely 100% guilty of that because I knew that something wasn't right earlier this week. And did I take the test right away? No, because I wanted to push it away. If, if I pushed hard enough, then it wouldn't come up and take over my body like it has. I've not been asleep for a full 24 hours. Um, whew, I've, I'll tell you what, though. I've relied on some yoga nidra, though. Oh, my goodness sakes. I was meditating all night last night. And if you can step into that realm of just letting yourself be touched by the universe through nidra or transcendental meditation, I mean, it is going to help you get through your present storms. Because here's the thing. It ain't going away. BA.5 is here for now, the variant. But there's going to be another one, and then there's going to be another one, there's going to be another one, and it's going to become a part of our lives. So we might as well start taking care of each other and start sharing the experiences. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. Today we are reading from August 5th, 2022. What I've not come across over the past two and a half years with COVID-19 is how incredibly slow time moves. You want to be fixed. You don't want to have the big hurt come on, but you know it's coming. I relied on Yoga Nidra to get my rest last night. Now, that doesn't mean I got sleep. I'm going to be very clear and very honest with you. Meditation is not sleep. It may rest your mind, but it is not sleep for your entire body. You still need to get that sleep. But I did. All night last night, I was in meditation, and it did help me through the night. But I still have got to get some sleep. I've been awake for 24 hours. So that's my goal for the second day, is I've got to figure out a way to get myself back into a sleeping pattern. Now, normally, when I get a headache, it doesn't take the entire body with it. Now, I'm not saying that that others haven't already experienced this, but but I'm going to tell you right now, I'm guilty. Hi, my name is, and I am very guilty. I let my guard down. I trusted fate. There are many blogs out there that put focus on how fate should be our friend. And yet, and yet, I just accused my confidence in the new normal as being a clear connection to getting hit with COVID-19. My wife and I have been on the front line since September of 2020. We feel incredibly blessed that it took this long for us to get COVID-19. I also took note in those blogs how important to them it was to put fate in a place of positive energy. Oh, 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 we've got to break that down. Okay, so you're only going to talk about fate as a positive and not fate as, oh, well, you know what? It was headed this way. I made the choice not to wear the mask or to do different things, fully vaxxed, double boosted, but yet it still hit us. And Fauci said it would hit us. And it did. But here's the thing. If you only see positive energy in the word fate, you're not looking at the true definition. Destiny is the positive and it's out of your control. Fate is a negative and less spiritual. You got to keep breaking it down, man. We use these words in a way that, you know, that help inspire us to empower us to get us through the storm. But you've got to understand that fate is what puts us in places and fate is what delivers us to places, good or bad. And so keeping yourself aware through mindfulness, you're able to take situations where you know it's not good for you and yet you keep walking toward it. As a third degree black belt, one of the things that I learned in martial arts, we are not trained to walk into the fight. We are trained to walk around the fight. Okay, same situation with this COVID-19. Stop walking to it. Start walking around it. I'm Errol, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.